Okay, thank you very much for joining us. My name is Omar Jaju and this is The Chronicles. And my guest today is Mr. Hadram Esidibe. He is the Minister for Youth and Sports in this country. And we are here to talk about a lot of issues in Gambian sports and a lot of things, I should say, in Gambian sports, including uh, his achievements and, of course, the strategic plans for 2020. And uh, thank you so much for joining me, Mr. Drame. Thank you, Mr. Jaju, yeah. for having me. All right. Yeah. Uh, 2019, a lot of things happened in Gambian sports. Mm -hmm. Lows, highs, before looking into 2020. Mm -hmm. Let's look back at uh, 2019. How has it been with you as the Minister for Youth and Sports? Yes, uh, as I always say, I mean, my biggest achievement is bringing insanity into the game. And uh, based on that, I was able to achieve or take the national teams to an other level. Mm. In, the, in, the, in the context of football, yeah. we were able to be at a level that we have never been before. At the Cup of Nations, African Cup of Nations, we are topping our group today. Mm. And uh, I hope, based on the stability we have in the associations, I think we will be qualified for the next coming African Cup, Cup of Nations. Mm. Secondly, as I said, for the first time, our athletes, you know, women's 200 meters, we had gold, Gina Bass, yeah. which has never happened. Also, for volleyball, for the first time, we have gold, yeah. you know, and they will be representing the Gambia at the Olympics, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, these are achievements which I, I think, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm proud of, mm -hmm. and uh, I must say, sanity is the backbone of these um, achievements. Okay. Because the people were able to rally behind okay. yeah. We will come to sanity first. Mm. When you talked about the achievements of Gina Baz and uh, other achievements. Uh, volleyball. Volleyball mm, achievements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For Gina Baz, mm -hmm. uh, individually it's an achievement. But what role did your ministry play in making sure that Gina Baz won't go? Um, as you know, our support uh, can be either directly or indirectly. Mm -hmm. We do put, put funds in GNOC. Okay. And GNOC, they are the intermediary between us and Ginabas or whatever the athletes' uh, fraternity may achieve. So that is our contribution. So let's say specifically, uh, what did you do to make sure that Gina was there at top? Um, I, I sponsored the team to, to, to Morocco. Okay. We put in money, you know, and I myself, I went to Morocco and I, uh, you know, you know, all the supporters, you know, students coming from different areas of Morocco. Mm. I put in my personal money even to, you know, contribute to the students, you know, fairs coming in to Morocco to support. But why so, should you put your personal money? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I'm there representing the government, and that money was given to me as per diem, so I have to, okay. you know, dish it out. So, okay, you use yes. your per diem to yes. Yes. finance the, yes. the government at least. Yes. But why is money not coming from the government to the ministry? No, this athletes? is not uh, it's a contingency. I okay. did not expect that I would find that sort of okay. support in Morocco. Okay, okay. So, you know, and I think that was a good motivation for me. Yeah. and the team also. Mm -hmm. So, of course, yes, we, 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 we contributed, mm -hmm. you know, the team mm -hmm. behind her, the support behind her, you mm -hmm. know, as a country, and we, we paid their per diems, and the, 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 the group of athletes who went there, mm -hmm. we, we supported them, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. You also talked about football mm -hmm. as being part of the achievements for the ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, how much of support were you giving football? I was, in 2019? Um, financially, for the first time we met all our, you know, issues with uh, the boys, their allowances, their camping fees, we are all paid on, on time, 
you know, and even the areas, they are all paid. And I think that encourage others even to come for our call. I also spoke to them personally, those who were not in calm before, to get everybody on board. Mm. And uh, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's relative anyway. But I, from, based on statistics, we would not have maybe won the last match that we played without mm. some of the boys coming back to the game. So one would say, I mean, I mean we've, re, we, we've supported them immensely. Morally and financially. Okay. Mm. Of recently, I mean, uh, mm. I, as we say previously, mm. the Federation, Football Federation, mm. they've been saying that the government wasn't forthcoming in supporting their, their plans and even doing their responsibility as government into football. But now I think they're saying that there's a new partnership with you. Exactly. That, uh, the government is now considering uh, funding some of their, 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 their plans. How important do you think government support is, is in football development in this country? Um, it's important mm. because, I mean, uh, sports or football uh, funding involves a high volume of capital. Mm -hmm. And um, really, uh, this is where government comes in, and I um, mean, we, we, we can raise, raise some capital, which uh, is not uh, easy with individuals. So this is where our role is important, and um, also we, 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 we are able to do certain connections through our foreign affairs, which, you know, individuals cannot do. Uh, so government is very important in the, you know, I mean, I mean going forward in football, uh, government is important. What's your relationship now between the Football Federation? That's why I say there is sanity. We are fine. We are working together. I mean, I made so, you know, what we are owing them, we pay them, you know, and we are moving so forward. So you owe them? Yeah, we, we do owe them sometimes, the pre-finance and pay. You know. Like paying the who pays the coach? We pay the coach. How much do you pay the coach? <laughs> no, I don't want to release, <laughs> release that mm -hmm. because it's peanuts, mm -hmm. really. Okay. I mean, uh, we we got in based on you know value for money, but actually based on the market, we cannot pay him. You know, at the moment. You but cannot we pay are, him. We we are we are able to negotiate a fee that is really you know, reasonable mm. for us to accommodate. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Let's talk about the, you talked, talked about your achievements mm -hmm. as the ministry. Let's talk mm. about the low moments. What would you say wasn't all good for the ministry in 2019? Uh, as I said, is the illegal migration. That's the challenge. Mm. That's the challenge. And we are working to the nail, you know, Hopefully, any time this period, I should be traveling to Germany to negotiate on this uh, monetary. Can negotiate about what? You know, there is a monetary that they might send okay. in uh, Gambians back home. So we have to be there and negotiate, you know, that um, they are trained before they can send them home. And some of them might want to stay legally. Mm. And we try to develop uh, bilateral relations which will improve the issue of um, migration. You know. yeah. So do you have a national plan mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. that you think can help cope with this illegal migration? Because mm -hmm. recently we've lost so many young boys and girls in this journey. I mean players, at least have lost their lives in this in this in this journey as as a minister mm -hmm. do you have any plan nationally to cope this menace of course we we, we have a plan nationally and um, uh, that is actually trying to create a situation whereby they will be engaged mm -hmm. you know and that is why we we, we, we encourage them to train you know, we have so many training opportunities, although it's not enough, we still want to develop on it. So
so that um, we can train as many young people as possible. Uh -huh. We also have these other projects that are designed for young people. Though you can say it's not enough, but we are trying to, you know, multiply our efforts so that um, we accommodate them if they are coming home. Uh, Nevertheless, you know, the negotiation of those who are already there to be trained there is also in the pipeline. Uh, mm. Fine enough for the challenges and, and achievements for the ministry. So maybe now we can look forward to plans of 2020. I mean, the strategic plans of mm. the ministry for 2020. But before talking about the plans, mm. where are we now? If I say where are we now, I mean you as the Ministry of Youth and Sports. At what stage are you now? Thinking, planning, moving, what? No, we, we, we already have our plans on the ground. It's um, how to, you know, engage our partners uh. in this drive, you know, to our achieve what we want to achieve in 2020. Uh -huh. Because basically my main vision is to, I mean, improve our infrastructure. That is one. And also open a gate for the training of young people. As I said, like the university to run a program for PE uh -huh. graduates in sports. So that there is a window for young people who like, want to study the, the game as a profession can have an uh, avenue to do that so that um, PE teachers who are normally stuck there as PE teachers just one level can you know go into the university and have a degree in sports so these are all part of our plans for 2020 mm -hmm. And um, just today we had a meeting with a, a firm that will try to do our football fields, our turf, you know, rehabilitate those that we are done and the dilapidated. Hmm? No, 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 no. It's done, but it, uh, the idea is the contractor is Gambia, will be Gambia, mm. because the, the difficult part is the leveling of the field which will be done and it's not that extraordinary it can we have Gambian funds right? but to supply the turf and you know mm -hmm. we don't have that so we have to get these people to work with them in partnership so when do you intend to do this yeah it's just a uh, bureaucracy uh, that should have started um, well before but <laughs> you know they need to do some negotiations and we, we sign the, you know. So how do you intend to do this across the, the venues in the Combos? No, 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 the entire com the Combos even is uh, uh, just few. Most of them will be also up country. But you have yeah. very bad football fields in the Combos, mostly used by the top teams. No, the bad ones are the, Sere it's not uh, Serekunda, West and East. I think you, you, only have, you only have one, one good pitch here, realistically. This, yeah, this, we only have one. We yeah. also have, you know, other, I mean, Spanish people who are interested, you know, BOT for six stadiums, you know, standard stadiums throughout the country. Mm -hmm. So that is one, you know, we, we are trying to kill two birds with one. But the other, you know, small interior ones will be done by us you know, from our own revenue. Mm. Yes. How do you think the lack of good football fields is affecting mm. Gambian football? Seriously. That is affecting, so? seriously affecting, you know, because, I mean, it's not enough space that um, even if you go to Bacao now at the stadium, mm. it's difficult for you to get all the teams straight, mm. you know, at a given time. You, you go there, you can see how they are sharing, you know, the field. Sometimes it becomes chaotic. That has been a problem. Even when I was playing football, I remember KG5, four teams have to play. 
sometimes. And we just meet each other like that in the middle of the field. Well, how can we fix this problem? This is where I am going. I knew that from then on, if we had a program for structural development, every three or five years, we could have got, you know, all over the country. Mm. And this is where I am moving into. I know it is a serious issue. Yeah. Yeah. And that would provide us a real number of, in all areas, athletes, footballers, and all these things. You imagine if you have a tough running track in Basse or in Fatoro. <laughs> you think um, only combo will take force? No. Everything being equal, well, they can. Uh, Soma has a football so, field. Soma has a football field, mm -hmm. you know, and um, that one too, we, we have to improve on it, you know. And the other thing there is normally management. The upkeep is normally a challenge for us here. Mm -hmm. And that we really have to work hard to get that done. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't you think also before? Before, mm -hmm. with due respect to the people in the regions and mm -hmm. in the in the provinces, before even taking a lot of these good pitches there, mm -hmm. most of these division teams are mm -hmm. playing in the combos. No, uh, are well, you thinking in that line that we have to make sure that we develop fields in this combo first before going regional? No, because regional is more effective. Okay, it's more effective, and if we want to improve our football, we have to go regional. Okay. You see, uh, that is my, that's what I say with people. Okay. And uh, looking at um, even to generate revenue, you only play regional margins to get more money than clubs. Mm. You see? And that is since when we do this, I um, mean, youth week thing or whatever, we do the, we call it super navetta and divisional, you know, by mm. then, you know, it's super cop. You mm, know, mm. we do this um, in division and it was more effective since time memory yeah. than, you know, clubs. Mm. So it is important that we start looking at it. Either it will run as a different league or whatever, mm -hmm. but we have to start looking at that in order for us to... And Honorable, the other thing is implementation. Mm -hmm. Gambia had a sports policy mm -hmm. that has expired in 2019. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the sports policy, mm -hmm. it has never been evaluated. Mm -hmm. And the monitoring was a problem. A lot mm -hmm. of things did not, uh, the government did not realize a lot of things in, in, that, in that sports policy. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about plans, mm -hmm. they might be easy, but mm -hmm. the problem comes to implementation. Now you are you're talking about plans of bringing infrastructural development in this country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But how, how, how sure are you mm -hmm. these plans will be implemented before even your, your, your tenure ends uh, as the sports minister? Um, as I said, it's all relative how we manage people. Okay. And that is one problem of our implementation. And I think I have the skills and the commitment mm you know, to do exactly that, make sure that what we say, we, we, we implement it. Mm -hmm. Unless otherwise we find during the process that mm -hmm. uh, something is wrong mm -hmm. with what we are talking about. Okay, so how um, do you get there? Hmm? It comes now to the, the planning wheel. Mm -hmm. Where are you? You talked about that. But how do you get there? What do you mm -hmm. need to get there? Yeah, I mean, it can be, you know, you know so many things. That's why I, I emphasize on commitment, mm. you know, and for me, it's not a difficult thing for me to part with you if you are not committed to my policies. Mm -hmm. That is the bottom line. So I would be working with committed people. That's what I believe in. Mm -hmm. You know, if you are not committed to the policies, uh, you can't just... President mm -hmm. Barrow, mm -hmm. he loves football. Mm -hmm. I know he's an Arsenal fan. Mm -hmm. But do you, when you meet one-on-one, -on -one, you talk about gambling football? Of course. What do you, what, what, what do you tell you about gambling football? <laughs> no, you know, what, now what, you what, 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 what does he tell you about gambling football? <laughs> no, I, um, um, I, I know he is um, sometimes, I mean, you know, when I 
I remember when we, we were playing with Algeria. Uh. And he said, hey, this ranking, I only, I said, and we will, we, will, we will surprise you. And he was surprised when we had a draw. Uh. So sometimes um, that is the issue. We are coming up from a situation that it will be difficult for you to convince people without the results. You know, and uh, I think um, that is one of my, or one of the reasons why mm. I always want to engage them, to convince them that mm. this is possible. Mm. And uh, exactly, it's happening, mm. you know, and that's why they are ready to put in more funds and, you know, we move forward. Mm. Yeah. I, I want to quote uh, a brief article here written mm. by Standard. That was your, your first interview mm -hmm. you did with uh, the Standard newspaper, and mm -hmm. it reads mm -hmm. The newly appointed Minister of Youth and Sports, Hadram Esidiwe, has mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. his vision for the Gambia is to take Gambian sports to a desired, admi admirable level. Mm -hmm. Speaking for the first time since his appointment mm -hmm. was announced, Hadram mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. he is not a total stranger to Gambian sports mm -hmm. especially when it comes to football mm -hmm. as he was a player mm -hmm. of Walidan back in the 70s mm -hmm. alongside Biri Biri mm -hmm. and others mm -hmm. and since he remained mm -hmm. as a passionate follower of Gambian football mm -hmm. he said like everyone else mm -hmm. he had watched the Gambia painfully mm -hmm. and unsuccessfully struggle mm -hmm. to qualify for major football competitions mm -hmm. and he will use his energy mm -hmm. and influence mm -hmm. to end that trend mm -hmm. Yeah, this were your words when mm -hmm. you were uh, first appointed mm -hmm. as the minister. Mm -hmm. Gambia is now nearing uh, qualifying for the first time. Mm -hmm. What role is your ministry playing in making sure that all what the team needs it's is 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 uh, is available uh, for its qualifiers? Yes, I mean, we would not have uh, reached this level without meeting those obligations, oh. especially financing. And I would not have been successful in my, you know, engagement with in cabinet, cabinet oh. concerning oh. this um, levy. Oh. So that just uh, shows that, I mean, I am successful in getting cabinet approved this levy. I am successful in getting the entire public appreciate mm. that it is long overdue, you see. So I think um, also with the results, you know, it can tell you something that uh, we are not moving backwards but forward. Mm. And of course, government is ready. Funds are their disposal, they will give it to me. Funds, so, government? Yeah. How much? Hmm? How much is there to oh, give? it's relative. It depends on what I <laughs> I'm but doing. But the list is given to sports. I think the, the what, what, sports what, what have do you the, mean sports? Which sports sports? Have the, the, I mean, the, the, the budget, uh, the national uh, budget. Uh, okay, yes. I mean, you know, there are people who scrutinize this. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. our hands are tied. You, you know. as government? Or the yeah, ministry? you know, you go to even parliament at that level, you know, <laughs> the yeah, sometimes you look at the, the sports budget, mm -hmm. you wonder whether the country really wants to achieve anything. Um, one thing I, 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 I know, mm. I mean, a lot of things we can achieve because... With that money? Yes, yes, but there are so many leakages which we want to close. We will get it. We leakages? Can. Yes. Like what? Yes. So, a lot of things have to... The leakage is like what and what? Funds. Funds are leaking somewhere? Yes, we have... Um, uh, um, we are constrained with the way we collect funds. You know, and we have to digitize these things so that... I don't understand. A leakage is like as corruption or...? Of course, there is corruption. In Gambian sports? Of, of course. Okay. Of course, there is corruption. From where? You know, of course. Gambia, you are not excluded. I'm corrupt. <laughs> Minister, you are kidding. <laughs> you know, so when I say corruption, we are all involved. No, no, we, no. we have to, either you, 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 you have to mitigate, I mean, in the area you are, 
you know, to make sure that it is, you know, by bringing in, um, uh, putting in parameters in place that will, you know, minimize these things. So you, you are saying the problem of Gambian sport is corruption? Corruption is there. It's a factor. That's why I say wherever money is uttered, you know, I mean, there are crises. So how do you fix this corruption? That's what I'm, uh, I, uh, I cannot uh, eliminate corruption. I will mitigate and contain, I will contain it. That's what I will do. So the ministry here is, is, is corrupt? You have a corrupt people here in this ministry? I see corruption is everywhere. You can Including your ministry? <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Including your ministry? Of course. But who is corrupt in, this, in your ministry? No, I cannot tell you in the video. Corruption is, is, it's everywhere. Is, is everywhere. It's everywhere. You yeah. talked about the GSM, I mean, the sports levy mm -hmm. that was launched in 2019. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the intention is to give Butud into a box mm -hmm. that will be saved for the development of Gambian sports. sports. Mm -hmm. But how do we go about this? Uh, now the problem comes, what you talked about now, corruption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The money is there mm -hmm. for the associations. Mm -hmm. It's not for you, it's mm -hmm. not for me, mm -hmm. not for Booba, mm -hmm. but it's for the associations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do we make sure this money meant for the associations is well distributed? Mm -hmm. um, do you have a policy scheme for that? No, you know, all these associations, they are not equal. And normally when, they, when we distribute funds, you have to come up with a proposal and a budget. And this is where, you know, decisions are taken, mm. you know, and, uh, yeah. Mm. So you don't have any funding scheme. I'm raising this because mm. there was a scenario like this, mm -hmm. Gambia for gold. Mm -hmm. That came, was private. That was private, mm -hmm. yeah, but mm -hmm. it has the same setup, collecting <laughs> money for the purpose. And at the end of the day... Uh, well, being a private day, guy and yeah. uh, also, you know, you are in control as an individual. Oh, yeah, well, Gambia for Gold to... wasn't private. It was private. No, the name no. Gambia there cannot be private. No, it was so not going it. into government cost. Co yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I'm yes. not saying government. So, <laughs> so definitely, okay. you know, it's private. Yeah, I'm, I'm raising this point. Mm -hmm. Let's mm -hmm. even not discuss about Gambia for Gold. Let's talk mm -hmm. about the the GSM levy here. Mm -hmm. It's good to have a policy scheme. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes, it's good to have. So it's just people coming, Omar comes, put Dallasi, you come, Sidibe, put Dallasi. But how do we distribute it? Who gets that's, what? That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Each association, you have your program of activity. Okay. And we look at it because from the, you cannot get all even because funds are not enough. You know, I also have my priorities like, as I said, these tedious, trying to, you know, secure some, you know, stadia somewhere in the country. Yeah. And, uh, of course, you know, I use my financial oversight yeah. and take certain decisions, you know, and I discuss with my, we have, uh, you know, a process yeah. whereby <laughs> EPS will come in, the DPS will come in and we will sit, you know, you talked about something very serious here, mm -hmm. that's corruption in our sports. Mm -hmm. And you are the head, you are the minister, mm -hmm. and one of your responsibilities is to make sure to promote good governance and transparency. Exactly. But what do you think needs to be done to promote that? It's not safe to say, okay, every department is corrupt. Ah, corruption, never mm -hmm. corrupt. Do you think it's safe? To leave it like that? No, we are not leaving it like that. That's why I'm saying we are trying to close those gaps, mm. leakages, and make so... Okay, we, we, oh, that's, we, that's what you meant by leakages? Yes, we maximize our, you know, income, you know, our, our collection. Mm. Yeah, and that is what we are. That's why if you look at most of these institutions now, they are either going to the banking system or digitalizing and so mm. And that has really improved our revenue earnings. So that's the way forward. Yeah. And ending the, the, my question with mm -hmm. the GSM levy, mm -hmm. though my 
previous question wasn't answered like the way I wanted, like the, the, the scheme plan, the policy mm. scheme plan that you intend to create mm -hmm. and to make sure that there is transparency and accountability at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. If swimming mm -hmm. or even volleyball is supposed to get Dallas in, mm -hmm. it goes directly to volleyball. If kickboxing is supposed to get this, it goes directly to kickboxing. Mm -hmm. If uh, taekwondo is supposed to get $10 mm -hmm. it goes to taekwondo. Mm -hmm. But how can it go to taekwondo? No, I mean, we have our National Sports Council, which is the uh, main body that uh, where these associations are registered. Mm. So actually, and they are in charge of regulating okay. and monitoring. So, of course, we, we send these funds through them. That is after they apply to National Sports Council. They are part of it. Mm. And we look at it. You know, and sometimes they, they are they are they are assigned to investigate even sometimes. So, so, yeah. So then the funds are released to them, and they also make sure they monitor. Sometimes you know you can release funds even there are issues. They come back and say, no, Minister Nye, definitely money, definitely. Oh, we assess the place, you know we realized that the money did not go there, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Those are, you know, really, you know, challenges. And we are trying to contain it down the best way we can. Yeah, I'm talking about the Sports Council. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any plan as the minister to expand the, the NSC to meet the, uh, the, the issues of contemporary sports? A lot of things are happening. Karate has problem. They go to NSC, NSC dissolve, forms a board to investigate. Boxing had issues, NSC, NSC dissolve, call mm -hmm. for AGM. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans to expand the NSC? When I say expand means there has to be independent bodies. For example, NSC today has changed to be a management, a crisis management committee or council. Because if I have problem as 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 any as as volleyball, I go there. Instead of this will be busy mapping out plans, regulating, let's say mapping out plans and, mm -hmm. and you know giving out policies. Uh, do you have any plan of expanding maybe uh, setting up independent committees like a sports tribunal set up where if Omar is an athlete, I have an issue, I go there and they look into the matter? Yeah, I'm looking at a sports uh, tribunal. I you know I mm. I did think about it before, and um, there was one guy even, I think that's an, you know, he's an international consultant who should have come to develop that, uh, I mean, mm. but then, you know, it's in the thinking, anyway, I okay. thought about it last year, you know, it's uh, in the thinking, okay. so we we'll look at that. We're ending this interview very soon. Mm. We know, we, know uh, we are in the year of so many events in sports. Mm -hmm. Tokyo 2020 is coming, mm -hmm. the Olympic Games, Gambia mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. really participating. Mm -hmm. And after Tokyo you have the Youth Olympic Games mm -hmm. here, Senegal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gambian athletes also mm -hmm. are set to participate. Mm -hmm. At your level, what are the preparations like? At what stage are you? Yeah, um, uh, of course, athletes are on the GNOC and um, they are normally in touch uh -huh. and um, uh, and we, we respond the best way we can you know so we for, for athletes they are on top i also engage this primary school sports which we will be also we are part of that one too the independence of and the senior secondary school sport and these are the avenues that they scout uh, mean sports men and women and I think that is ongoing. We even want to expand that area so that competitions are more frequent during the year. At any given time, you have active young men that can compete. Yeah. Yes. Your relationship with the GNOC, how is it? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. <laughs> I don't have issues with uh, associations. They have their own issues. I try to, you know, mediate between them. So, although, you know, sometimes.
song will not um, um, uh, what they call accept my you know this is so and so in fact i don't make this is one for them actually i always send them to the national sports council but sometimes when i'm aware of these things it really puts the pressure down and sometimes we agree here they go again they arise they have to come back you know but then i don't have uh, issues with uh, individuals or associations you know i welcome everybody as i said uh, i am looking for oneness that is the only way we can take this sport forward and um, you know i said it's sanity if we have it we will move forward mm. that's uh, the biggest tool i i use you know to make them compromise give and take some mm. you know but if uh, it's, it's really challenging, but uh, this is it, you know. Mm. Sometimes you have to be thick-skinned. Some of them will hate you for one year, or eat, mm. <laughs> and then until they are back to their senses, mm. we, we work together. Mm. Yes, but the whole idea is to bring sanity and we move on. Finally, mm. the sports policy has ended. Mm -hmm. A lot of resources were put mm -hmm. in it to mm -hmm. develop a very good sport policy. I, I go through it as mm -hmm. a lot of fantastic programs. Mm -hmm. It has ended in 2019. Mm -hmm. Little has been achieved, mm -hmm. if not, not at all. Mm -hmm. Do you plan of uh, creating a new sports policy that will guide you? I mean, a blueprint that will guide your, 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 your work? Yeah, I, I uh, really uh, mean, uh, would uh, develop one. We, we discussed it and um, uh, we are yet to engage, you know, because even for that, you hardly find around someone who can do it. I think it's only one, you know, I mean, consultancy firm, which um, they identified for me. And um, yes, we will, we will engage people for that. But also, I have the national development plan on the other side that um, I depend on. But uh, nevertheless, you know, the policy would really help. So how do we make sure having the policy is one thing. Mm -hmm. but the most important thing is to evaluate and to monitor the policy briefly. How do we? How do you? How do you make sure that the policy will be evaluated, not every three months, but every let's say every six months, and be monitored closely to make sure that uh, the objective enshrined in it are realized. Yes, um, uh, that is why some of these challenges we try to I mean, uh, I mean, I mean uh, solve them or mitigate them like the issue of uh, mobility which is one of the challenges for monitoring and evaluation yeah you know and i think this year we are able to provide all our satellite institutions with uh, mobility and i think that would also go a long way to help us uh, for the monitoring um, countrywide Nevertheless, to, we have to, I mean, um, incre increase our vigilance to monitor these things, uh, our activities, make sure that our policies have been implemented. So, I mean, it's a whole host of, you know, and you are also here to monitor at this part of your job, you know, you know <laughs> and, and bring the information, you know. <laughs> So I'm tasking you also. Ah. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Honorable. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much, thank you Mr. So much. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. He is uh, Mr. Hadram Esidebe, the yeah. Minister for Youth and Sports in this country. It has been a pleasure talking to him. And uh, we hope to have you and, soon. Uh, when you have I'm, the, I'm, I'm the, the... sorry if you are offended that no, no, no. I accuse you of what <laughs> okay. is, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, my expression, <laughs> trying to express. Yeah. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm not corrupt. Mm, so yeah. if I have a corrupt, then I'll, I'll, I'll be vexed. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Okay. See you next time. Oh, thank you.